Yeah! Hello again, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. Today, I am over at Carl's Jr. again to try another one of their prime rib offerings. This morning, I'm going to do the prime rib burrito. Would you like to try our new prime rib biscuit today? Um, actually, I think I'll take the prime rib burrito, please. Would you like to have the combo today? Um, no, just the burrito. Anything else for you today? That'll do it. Five ninety-five at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Hoping for much better things this time. The last time I did their prime rib biscuit, the biscuit was not done. And that was just a travesty because Carl's Jr. is known for their biscuits and they are absolutely wonderful. Had it been done, it would have been a lot better than it had been. <laughs> All right, let's go to the clipboard of fluff. The Carl's Jr. Prime Rib Burrito is tender, slow cooked, sliced prime rib, fluffy eggs, freshly made salsa, and shredded cheese wrapped in a warm flour tortilla. This is a breakfast item. So um, Carl's Jr. does not have 24 seven breakfast. You can only get this during the breakfast hours. Using the handy dandy steering wheel tray there. Well, there is the bag it comes in. Flavor lit by fire. And then it has a whole bunch of Carl's Jr. fluff on the other side. All right. Napkins. We got the napkins. The sun's starting to shine through the clouds. We do have the damage there. And there is the burrito. The Carl's Jr. burrito. And it's dripping all over the place. Oh my gosh, what the heck. Well, I guess we're going to use some of those napkins right away. Good thing I had the handy dandy steering wheel tray there. All that slop would be in my lap. Okay, let's gently unwrap this. Whew. Okay, this is obviously going to be messy. So I don't have to hold it up and show you. There is the burrito, that's what I'm talking about. We've got oil slicks down here. And I'm not gonna unwrap it. I'll just have to show you inside when I take a bite. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to use my burger buddy for that because it sure would come in handy. How about a burrito buddy? That would be wonderful perfect for a time like this. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up in the wrapper here to try and eat this. It smells real good. I can smell the prime rib. I can smell the salsa in there, and I love salsa. Peeking down inside, I can see all of the above, including the egg. Okay, now, let's give it a shot. Getting some of that tortilla stuck in my teeth. Let's go for another bite, deeper down inside. Bite off a little wing there. Mm. I don't know about you, but I really think it's gross watching people eat. And so if, if you notice that I don't like do the whole thing that I cut the footage after a couple bites. That's why I'm saving you the agony of watching me eat. I want you to get the reaction. I, I just don't want to make you watch me eat. I don't know, is that just me or is that you too? Do, do, do you mind watching people eat or do you think it's kind of grody like I do? All right, as long as it's hanging out there, let's show this off. That is a piece of the prime rib right there. All right, give you a look inside, right there. Oh my gosh, it's just, I'm trying to keep it inside the wrapper, but it's just leaking all over the place. I'm gonna go in again. You can probably tell by the color that it's early morning right now. It's very foggy too. Wrap that up there real good. Whoa, that sun's killing me. All right, let's take this by the numbers. It's a lot better than the, the, the biscuit one was. That's for sure. 
Um, the tortilla shell is soft and warm, so that's nice. Uh, the egg inside was fluffy and light. Plentiful prime rib, prime rib all over the place, which was juicy and tender. And the salsa had a nice, fresh bite to it. A um, little bit of flavor of cilantro, which I am not a fan of. I hate cilantro, but there was just, just enough that I could taste it. I knew it was there, but not too much where I couldn't eat it. The cheese was kind of a non-issue. Um, really didn't even notice it was there. There was so much prime rib and salsa and egg that that was just kind of a moot point. The damage on the Carl's Jr. prime rib burrito was $5.00 and 95 cents. A little spendy. On the Nerdometer, I would give that sloppy puppet down there that I'm almost done with, um, I would give this a, I think I would give this a middle of the road, I like it. It's good. Um, it's not my favorite thing. Uh, if I were to come to Carl's Jr. just on my own for whatever kind of breakfast, I'd be getting like a monster burger or a monster biscuit uh, or something like that. Um, so it's not my bre favorite breakfast item I've ever had. But every single thing they said that they would put in it was in it and there was a lot of it and it was fresh tasting and it was nice and yeah. All right, I got some extra thoughts. One don't I, right? Um, to appreciate prime rib, in my opinion, it doesn't belong in a breakfast burrito. Uh, I want mine sliced and on a plate with uh, sour cream and chai potato and some nice rice pilaf with horseradish sauce and some au jus. Uh, that's prime rib. To put it in a breakfast burrito, um, it, it, it seems gimmicky to me more than anything else, and call me cynical, but an excuse to charge me more for a breakfast burrito. I mean, six bucks is pretty freaking expensive. Just give me sausage or ham or bacon in a breakfast burrito from a, a fast food place. Okay. Would I recommend it? Um, I don't know. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? I mean, the, the prime rib stuff is only here for a limited time. So, you know, you've got the, the thick burger, the Angus thick burger, I think it is. And then you've got the biscuit. And then you've got the burrito. But if you do go out and try one of these things, I wanna know what you had. Go ahead and let me know what item you had, or if you had multiple items, and what you thought. Leave that down in the comments. There you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, follow me on my social networks, on my website, on the Old Nerd Reviews 2 channel, and consider joining and becoming an old nerd crony community member and get all kinds of goodies and benefits and stuff like that. You can just click that join button and it'll show you everything that you get and we'll, we'll have a lot more fun and interaction together just like that. If you do all that, you too can become a part of the coffee swilling prime rib burrito eating crony community. Uh -huh. All right, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.